Hi, I welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in which I am going to solve a randomized complete block design example by hand. I have discussed the problem statement and this data in part 1 of my video and then now I am going towards the ANOVA table. So we will have to find SS treatments, sum of scale treatments, sum of scale blocks and sum of scale totals. And by having these three values, the fourth value, sum of square of the error can easily be found. These are the three formulas that will be used in this example. So y i j it means the individual value, each individual value. So you people can say that this 89.2 is y i j, this 98.2 is also y i j, 85.6. All of these individual values, these are y i j's. So what we will have to do in the formula, we will have to take the square of y i j. So we'll, I will take the square of all those values, the values that have been from there, these all values. Okay. And then after taking the square, I will take the summation of these values as per the formula. So let's go towards the formula again and are the number of total observation. So here we have four rows and six columns. So we have total is equal to 24 observation. A, this A is the number of rows or you can say these are the treatment treatments or you can say these are the levels of the factor in which we are interested or you can say these are the level of our main factor. Okay. Now we come towards the B. In this example, we have B is equal to 6. We can say these are the, there are 6 blocks in our examples in this one. Or we can say we have 6 batches of the material that have been supplied. Now we talk about this Y dot dot scale. Y dot dot means initially that we will have to take the sum of all the observation. Sum of all observation and then we will have to scale of the value that will that is the sum of all observation so that is why dot dot whole scale now we come towards y i dot so i stands for the row so it means that we will have to first take the sum of all the rows and then take the scale of these those values and then summation let's go towards the data so that it will be more clear to us so y i dot dot so here we have y i dot these are 556.9 550.1 533.5 and likewise these are the four y i j's so what i will have to do as per the formula i will use these four values and now i come towards that y dot j so y j stands for the column this j this j stands for column and now we have six columns in this data these six values and then i will use this these six values where i where it will be written y dot j so there is written about submission so we, i will first take the scale of all four values i mean the sum of the uh, sum of the rows and then i will take the submission of all the rows okay y i dot and then i will take the scale of the you can see um, the submission values of so I will have uh, four values I will take uh, the scale of all those four values and then I will take sum this sign stands for the submissions likewise I have six values for the sub, uh, for the six columns I will take the scale of all the six values and then I will take the submission now uh, after having some of scale total some of scale treatment some of scale the blocks we have this formula so by knowing these three values sum of scale of the total treatment and the blocks I, I will easily get sum of scale of the error towards this third column of the degrees of freedom a number of rows 4 minus 1 3 b minus 1 so uh, here i have b is equal to 6 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 here we have 3 multiplied by 5 this will be equal to 15 i have total 24 degree of freedom so 24 minus 1 is equal to 23 likewise so we got our denominator value 3 here i got 5 here i got 15 so now we have to solve sum of square treatment and sum of square of the blocks so we'll discuss this uh, in our video so first of all we will talk about sum of square total so you will have to do like this 90.3 whole square 
I have told you that yig means all individual values and then you are, take, you are taking the square of all those values plus 89.2 just write the first two values in your assignment in your exam then insert the plus sign then always insert three digits then plus sign this is the standard way when we have too much data and then the last value 90.7 However, in your calculator or are you, if you are using the software, anyone, the Minitab or SPSS design expert, please insert all those values, okay, then insert the square. So, if you have done with this part so far and I have used this summation signs there, minus, so y dot dot, it's the overall submission of this data and here it is written 2155.1. As per the formula, I have to also take the scale of it and then divide it by n, where n is the total number of observations that are equal to 24. And I will get the sum of square total value is equal to, let me write it here, this is basically sum of square total. And now I'm going to calculate it. So the values comes out to be 178.171. Now the next step is, we will have to find sum of square of the treatment please do not please write it complete sum of square of treatment or you can write it here it is uh, sum of scale of the we have uh, extrusion pressure so you can write it either full or you can write it just like sset so i'm going to write it extrusion pressure now i'm going to solve this first of all i will write the formula for it so i have so this will be equal to b is equal to 6 so i can write 1 divided by 6 then y i dot i stands for the row so insert the bracket and then write the row sum so the sum of the rows that i have are i have this 556.9 these are basically my submission of the rows so i will have to write these four values after that the formula contains y dot dot whole square. So I have already this uh, used this for a value. So it is 2155.1 whole square divided by 24. Upon solving, I will get the results that are equal to. So I got the sum of scale treatment or sum of scale of extreme pressure is equal to 192.252. That's all for the second part of the video. In the third part of the video, I will calculate sum of scale of the blocks or you can say the reason and then uh, sum of scale of the error. After that, I will make the ANOVA table and I will let you know that how to calculate the critical values and what are our conclusions. So thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have any question, you can contact me on the WhatsApp as well as on my email address. You can ask the questions in the comments. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Bye.